Hi, my name is Kim. I am from the RF Sync Library here on Fort Campbell. Welcome to STEM Art. Today we are going to be making hand sewn monsters. You're going to need a pattern, which I just went on Google and printed out whatever pattern you want. Then I traced it onto a harder piece of paper and cut it out. You're going to need two felt sheets. All right, and as you can see, I traced and cut them out. A bunch of different pieces of felt to make face accessories, whatever you want on your monster. Some string, a needle. I use a cross stitch needle because you don't need a really sharp one, but you need a big one. Glue, a pencil or chopstick, something to stuff the stuffing into it. Scissors and our stuffing. All right, I'm gonna start off by getting our, yarn, our string. All right, and I am not good at threading, so I use a, a threader. Put it in and pull it through. All right, it doesn't matter how long your string is, you're gonna to have to use a couple different ones to get around the monster. All right, you wanna tie a knot at the end, wrap it around your finger, and then just roll it down, and then Pull it like that, and you have a knot. All right? We are going to be doing the whip stitch. Start off by putting it, uh, not quite, because you're going to need to leave a gap to, to stuff. So you want to use on the inside. That's where you want to leave your knot, so it's not on the outside. And then just go to the other side, put it all the way through, and pull. Put it, then just jump back to the other side, put it through, and pull. This is the whip stitch. All right, to save time, I went ahead and sewed, sewed mine up. So, because you don't want to sit and watch me have to sew this whole thing. All right, let's get our needle back on. Through. There we go. All right. While he's flat, we want to go ahead and glue on our accessories. These are the ones that I got. This is part of his eye. Go ahead and flip that over. Oops. Flip that over. You can decorate any way you want. There is no right way, no wrong way. I thought I would make his pupils little hearts because that's just the way I am. smile and I thought I would give him since he is a monster two different size teeth Oops. all right you would let this sit and dry before stuffing or your stuff will come off unfortunately we don't have that kind of time so we're going to go ahead and stuff our monster all right let's pull out batting this is where the pencil comes in you open the hole and you just start pushing it in. Sometimes the fingers are good, but to get down in the lower parts and into the arms and stuff. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and take our face off because it's already falling off. Alright, stuff it down there. Don't want to get our string down in there. So move the stuffing around, get it to all the edges. And then what you want to do is finish with the whip stitch by closing up. 
And again, just go from back to front or front to back, whatever's comfortable for you. Like that. Stick these back on because it makes them look a little better. <laughs> and there we go. We have our monsters. You all have a great day. Next week, Mr. Joe's going to be here for steam day and he's going to do lava lamps. You're going to need a clear jar, water, oil, and food coloring. And remember, since we are closed, we are doing curbside pickup. You can call us at 270-798-5729 or go to our webpage and email us from there. And let, we'll set that up. And remember, MWR is here for you. Have a great day.